Greetings! This is my homemade Raspberry Pi tablet. The entire housing was 3D printed in PLA on my Tron XY P802E 3D printer. On the inside there's a Raspberry Pi 3, two lithium ion batteries, the power boost 1000 charger, and a few other random components. On the outside there's an 800 by 480 7 inch touchscreen display, a 3.5mm headphone jack, an on and off switch, two USB ports, and a charging port. On the back we can access the micro SD card slot that allows you to run operating systems on the Pi. There are also vents that help cool down the system. This unit is only a little thicker than a micro SD card and about 3 fifths the size of a normal sized SD card. You can use this tablet for simply writing text documents and surfing the web. Or you can use this tablet to watch movies, listen to music, or even watch your favorite YouTubers. If you're getting tired of holding this creation, place it in this military grade tablet stand and you can sit back and enjoy the video. Or load up Android and you can play all of your favorite video games. From simple games like Clash Royale to even simpler games like Angry Birds. Or load up RetroPie and play all of the classic Nintendo games. But what if you're a musician? Well, just plug in your homemade launchpad, run Unipad, and fill yourself with the DJ vibe. Designing and building this project only took a couple of weeks, but trying to get the software configured took me a few months. I originally planned on this being an Android-based Raspberry Pi tablet, but since there are a lot of bugs and problems with most of the Android builds, I decided to just make it a plain Raspberry Pi tablet. Most of the Android builds for the Raspberry Pi do not support touchscreen. I did my best to try and figure out how to get them working with the touchscreen, but I had no success. The only build that I could get working with the touchscreen was RT Android. A couple of problems with RT Android are 1. There's a reboot timer that will reboot your entire system after 4 days, and 2. Video playback is not supported, so you can't watch any videos. The main things that it can be used for are surfing the web, playing games, and using social media. The people who are working on this operating system stopped, and started another Android build called Emteria. This build supports the touchscreen and it supports video playback. Right now the evaluation version is free, but it does a system reboot after two days. They plan on releasing a version that you can pay for sometime in the future. It will cost around 80 US dollars or 69 euros. I tried out the evaluation version and it's actually pretty cool. They made it extremely easy to install and it automatically adjusts to fit the touchscreen without having to do any configuration. Right now there's a lot of bugs, but I'm sure they'll have those fixed when they release the paid version. I'm a little hesitant to buy it when it comes out because the price is so high, but if you guys want me to buy it and make a video showing me use it with my tablet and testing out all of its features, then this video will have to reach 10,000 likes. I realize that this might sound a little insane, but so does the thought of paying $80 for an Android operating system. If you are one of the people who liked the video and want to see me use Emteria when it's released, then make sure to subscribe to my second channel where I will be uploading the video of me using Emteria with my Raspberry Pi tablet. The links to all the parts I used and everything else that I mentioned in this video will be in the description. I hope all of you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Make sure to comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Adios.